let me show you how to use Nowbar and how it works on Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to actually turn it on, how to start using it. So if you go to settings and choose lock screen and AOD, then you can go to Nowbar. And here we can start by uh, enabling apps that are supported by Nowbar. So here we have live notifications. We can tap a few more in order to find the list of all apps. And here we can decide if an app should be available with the Nowbar or not. And then in addition to that, we have now briefing uh, where we have a personalized briefing with suggested content and actions that change throughout the day. But I believe this is the one in the home screen actually. We also have the media player and current mode, which can also be enabled and disabled. So now that we have this set up, let's see how it looks like. So for example, I'm gonna go to the voice recorder. I'm gonna start recording. And now if I go back, to the home screen. Actually, let's go to the lock screen. Then the now bar will be visible at the bottom of the screen. And here we can simply manage the app that is running. Uh, we can also tap on it once in order to find even more options to make it a little bit wider. And here we can use those buttons. Now, in addition to that, it also shows in AOD. So not only it works for the lock screen, it also works for AOD. And here we can also I believe we can manage it. No, we cannot manage it. We only have the preview, uh, what is happening, but we need to go to the lock screen in order to start managing it. We can press and hold our finger in order to find the option to dismiss the app that is running. We can also go to the no bar settings. Now, if we happen to have more apps running with the no bar support, so let's say I'm gonna choose clock now and let's start a clock watch, a stopwatch, sorry, not clock watch, then we can simply swipe up like this in order to switch between different apps that are running in the background. If you try to move it left or right or down, nothing happens really, but we can manage it like this. And that is pretty much it. Let's also see if this works for AOD. So here we cannot really see. If we swipe up to switch to another app, then it will be also updated in AOD. So AOD is only just to showcase that something is running. Uh, but if you want to manage it, you can use the lock screen. So you don't have to unlock your device in order to do something with those apps that are running in the meantime. And that is it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.